Guys, it's a comeback from me on YouTube. It's been a while, we need a life update. It's a life update video, uh, it's been a very long time and I'm gonna start the life update with a house update because my last video I believe was the house tour uh, but the house has changed a lot so we're gonna do it real quick because the house is not done yet and I'm gonna do an official tour when the house is done but let's do like a little quick one, okay? So here we are in my room. Maybe I should have done my bed before <laughs> like starting the room tour. Um, so really quickly, because it's not done, this couch is not staying here. On va avoir un mur de rideau là, it's gonna be nice. Here we have my bathroom. Y'a une serviette qui sèche. Okay, I really did not prepare for this tour. Um, and here is my sink and stuff. Hello, and there's me. And it's not done because my ebeness is never showing up and oh my gosh, this is something I need to update you on. Um, but yeah, it's always clean and the only time I'm filming, it's not clean, it's, it's a mess. Next room not done is this one, I love it so much, this is Wolfie's bathroom, it's gonna be so nice but it's not done so I'm just not showing you too much, just a quick thing, you know, but we love the gold accessories. We have cat working and then we have the living room not done either but it's gonna be done soon and then my favorite room will be Wolfie's playroom once again it's not done because the evidence is not showing up he's really just not showing up <laughs> and last room I wanted to show you is this one Ta -ta -ta. I love this room so much it's also not done but yeah it's the entrance hi um, welcome back on my YouTube channel. It has been a while. In 2022, I literally posted one YouTube video, no two. I think it was the house tour when I moved and then Wolfie's birthday and that's it. It is because it was like kind of a break year. At some point after having a baby, I kept posting and posting all my life, always, even on my stories, whether it was my story or YouTube. I was just always there telling everyone every detail. And then my life just went so weird when I had my breakup. It was just so bad that I like kind of just needed a break from like saying everything to everyone. And I also wanted to test it kind of how I would feel about that. Because in the first place when I started social media, it was because I had like, and I still have a hard time like speaking about my feelings to the people around me. But on social media, when I was writing captions or just talking to you guys, it made me feel better and it was like my way to communicate because I don't like one-on-one -on -one talk, but then when I talk to my camera and I can answer your comments, read about them and everything, it's like my way of feeling better. I don't know, it's, it's weird, I know, but it is how, what it is. So in the past year, I was like not doing so well, I was okay. Um, and I just tried a different way of communicating, thinking it was an adult and stuff, but ends up, uh, turns out that I don't think it was really made for me necessarily. I really love talking to you guys and I've realized no matter what age I am, if that is the way that I'm feeling better about myself and about like spreading my feelings and stuff online, if this is the way that makes me feel good then why would i stop it i was thinking like oh i'm getting old like i should stop doing that and just concentrate on my business and i was just posting like less details about my life and it was more like the aesthetic stuff and i don't know i was less personal and i know a lot of you guys were really sad about it i was receiving messages every day about it but i was really trying to make it this way because i thought like i'm old i need to change but then no like <laughs> i love talking to you guys um so now i'm back and i'm hoping i'll be talking with you more of course now i wanted to be back with like a real life update video just so we can be back on track and just you guys know where i'm at in my head right now i'm in a really good place um, and then like I'll start posting more like Q&A's and stuff, but like less important ones, I guess uh, On Instagram, so it will be more easy and talk to talk like everyday kind of stuff So make sure you follow me on Instagram But yeah, I feel like we needed this big talk on YouTube before because that's like an official video where you're gonna get a lot of information so let's start this video with the questions that you guys have been asking. <laughs> okay, I have my phone now and since you guys know me, I hope you do know me from now, 
Um, I speak way too much, so you ask like a small question and then I go on for hours. And this is what happened when I filmed the last life update video. I filmed it and I had like two hours of footage, which it just didn't make sense to edit. And I want this video to be approximately like 20 minutes, big maximum, big, big, big maximum. So I'm only gonna answer the most asked questions. Um, but I'm gonna try not to get into too many details, but there's not gonna be like a lot of questions today But I'm gonna go in details, but just not too much. You get what I mean <laughs> uh, Of course one of the most asked question was about uh, my ex Wolfie's dad If you're in Quebec, you've seen it in the media. It was like everywhere. He went to prison for uh, six months and then uh, at some point I think it's at the half uh, usually like they can come out earlier because they have like good conduct and stuff like that but unfortunately he didn't have the good conduct um and that's something that really affected me because before he went to prison we haven't talked for like a year and a half so i had no clue where he was at in his head he was not on instagram not anywhere i had literally just no clue like is he regretting like what is he thinking? Like, is, have he changed? Uh, I just had no news, no nothing. Then he went to prison and I was hoping like it would change and stuff like that. And the first news that I hear about him, which I've heard in the news first, of course, uh, before like having anyone else telling me, but the first news I had from him was the fact that uh, he couldn't come out because he was not regretting anything. And he kept like talking shit about me and stuff in prison um so he showed like no regret and stuff so they decided to keep him for the entire sentence but then he came out i was kind of scared to be honest the first like two weeks i would say i was really scared like i was looking to my windows all the time or i would never come home at night because if i come home at night it means i need to walk from my car to my door in the dark and i was scared of that uh, but it really passed uh, now, I would say, like, of course, I have kind of, like, this feeling sometimes, but it's not as bad as when, like, he had just came out. So now I really, I don't think he would do anything, but you just never know. So that's all. Like, I'm just trying not to think about it too much because no matter how much I think about it, it's not going to change anything as if he would like to do something or not or whatever, the only news that I got was the ones I just told you about. So I have no clue and a lot of questions were related to the fact that uh, he would see Wolfie again or not. This is also something I have no clue about. I'm really like just in the dark about that because I can't plan anything because I just don't know. I don't have any of the information, but I'm ready to deal with it uh whenever I, I will have to deal with it but from now i'm not hearing from anyone about it so i'm just continuing living my life and going day by day and that's all i can do about it let's pass to a positive subject a good one which is another question that of course i got a lot it's do you have a boyfriend or is he nah, nah, nah. my li last life update video was no longer up to date it's like not usable because in that video i was saying like Oh yeah, I have a boyfriend, but you'll never see him because he doesn't want to be on social media and also he has his job and blah blah blah. That's basically what I was saying. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that you've seen him. Not, I wouldn't say a lot, but you've seen him. You have even seen him, no shirt on and stuff like that, which is also surprising for me, okay? I have to admit, I was not expecting that. So at first, like he, he doesn't have Instagram and never had. Um, so it's like kind of special that now he's like on chess, chess uh, on Instagram, whatever. Yeah, at first he was like, oh yeah, we're never gonna be on social media together. I was fine with that. I was, to it was totally great for me. Um, but then at some point he was just like, yeah, I don't mind. Like it would be cool, and he was super open about it. He was the one to first propose it, which was super surprising because for me it was clear that it was never gonna happen. But then it happened and then now he's like super open about like being on Instagram a little bit. I don't think like we're not, at, we haven't even discussed about it, but I don't think he would ever like talk in front of the camera and stuff like that. 
I really have no clue, maybe it's gonna change, but for now on, like just the little photos every once in a while, the little stories every once in a while, um, that's where we're at at the moment. So you haven't really met him, but you've seen him a little bit and I wish you guys could know him better because he's a really beautiful person. He's the nicest ever. He's also super intelligent, which I really appreciate. Like someone like, we can have discussions for hours about like political stuff. He knows like everything. He's like so smart and that's just very refreshing. And I don't know, it's so chill. Um, so I'm super happy about that. That's it for like the boyfriend part. Um, Cause I, I could talk about him forever, but then I feel like the video would be just that. So you'll get to discover him more on my Instagram. Maybe on YouTube one day, I don't think so, I don't know. But uh, just a little bit more on my Instagram for now. We're gonna stick to that. And I'm not too stressed, I'm really going day by day. And right now I'm just really happy to share him. Oh, and also I just wanna address, like I keep getting comments uh, on each post or each stories about my boyfriend, about like, oh, it's like your 20s boyfriend this year and blah 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 and just like all the comments saying I'm changing boyfriend every month and stuff like that and like guys it's like it's been like 20 stories I post with him and you answer that on every single one it's kind of getting old to be honest and also can I do whatever I want like okay you've seen like for boyfriend I think on my Instagram like in total but I just want to remind you guys that I've been on Instagram for nine years so it's been nine years for boyfriend can we have a little break? Like, can we stop? Of course, for some people it's a lot, for others it's like, oh, that's nothing. Can we all just live the life that we want, the way that we want? And also, it's not necessarily the way that I wanted it. Like, I was supposed to be with my baby daddy forever. It was supposed to be that, but then it didn't turn out this way. And it's not necessarily my fault. It could have been, but that's not the point. Like, if I wanted to change boyfriend every six months, it would be my thing, it would be my choice, I can do what I want, we are still young, like even I'm still young, we're young, that's what young people do, when your goal in life, it also depends on your goal in life, if you want to enjoy life and go out all the time with your friends, it's okay, it's fine, just do it. But for me, my goal was always to build a family, to find my life partner, and to be honest, like after my baby, okay, that's kind of deeper, but after my baby daddy, I don't know if you guys remember, but I always said like, oh, like it broke my dream and now I have to accept that my dream has been broken. My life dream was to have a, like my baby daddy, like the, my life partner, have kids together, have a big family with a lot of kids and we would spend the rest of our lives together. All of my family have done that. Like my, even my aunts, uncles, no one is like split or divorced or whatever. Um, so it was my goal. And then after it didn't work out for the reasons that you guys know, I was really traumatized about it. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's my like main life goal now because everything I was doing was in motivation to have my family. Like my life goal was having a family. That was it. <laughs> and that was, was, it was like kind of broken. Of course, Wolfie is my family. But you get what I mean, it's just not necessarily the same. I wanted a lot of kids and stuff and I needed to like kind of accept that from now on it would be just me and Wolfie and I was kind of lost for like a year of thinking like I don't know what I will do and blah 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 and now I'm just restarting to live to like meet people and still have the hope. Like the hope for me came back of like there's good guys out there. Like my boyfriend is a really good guy. We don't know, are we gonna have kids together? It's too soon to say. Um, we're waiting, we're being patient and stuff, but I still have the hope that maybe it can happen one day and we just don't know, that's life, <laughs> that's it. It's, it's just not that deep, like for me, it's not the fact of like I have a boyfriend, it's the fact that I can still be dreaming of that, uh, it's positive for me, it motivates me every day, it makes me happy and if it does not make you happy and it really bothers you to the point you have to tell me and stuff like that, please just unfollow me, like, get, like follow stuff you like, follow people that inspire you and do what you want to do, uh, I don't know what to tell you, it's like stop trying to complain about my life, it's it's my life. <laughs> now, next subject is, um, oh yeah, that's a question that I also got a lot, which I don't understand. 
it's are you still friend with Milady? And every time I'm hanging out less with someone, people are like freaking out, like, are you guys still friends? Like, it was the same with Cla like, literally all of my friends. But I guess we're adults and life goes on and we just change all the time depending on what happens in your life and stuff. And all of my friends, I've been friends mostly since I'm like super young. I keep my friends like for a lifetime and we don't, we don't have fights. Like we don't fight and we're like, oh, we're not talking anymore. It's just sometimes you're on a path where you just fit more with someone and then you kind of change and you fit more with someone else. And then you change and you fit more with someone else but it doesn't mean you're like not friends anymore and you don't keep up with the person anymore like we're still keeping up every once in a while and we're still friends and there was no fight there was no nothing it's just that right now at the moment we don't have the same lifestyle and we don't share the same type of like i don't know like uh weekend as we used to do now i have a kid and we're not necessarily at the same place in life and maybe one day we'll meet again at the same place in life or maybe at some point we'll, like i don't know how to explain it that's just life that's what happens with friends like with real friends like sometimes you can not talk for a month but that doesn't mean you're no longer friends, you're still friends and you still love that person. So anyways, all of this to say that yes, we're still friends and when you don't see me hang out with someone for a long time, it doesn't mean we have a fight, I don't have fights in life, it just means that for that period of time, we're less together for some reasons and sometimes it's just as dumb as I've had my co-locks now, uh, Kat and Mahalou, and I've been a lot with them because they were newly in the house and since we were always together, it would just be, oh, we're, we're going out, okay, let's go together. And then like I have my new boyfriend, so now when I have weekends, I'm like, oh, I wanna be with my boyfriend. So it's not like, that's what happens when you become an adult, I guess. You have work, you have responsibilities, and you don't have a lot of time to spend with your loved ones so sometimes you just spend it more with someone more with the other one and it's okay it's fine so that was it i feel like i've been talking forever as i said i'm not gonna answer a lot of questions but at least you're getting a lot of information the last question that i've been asked a lot is if i'm planning to have other kids and i always get that question but guys you're not gonna get a pregnancy announcement next month that is for sure except if it happens by mistake I don't think so. Um, I don't hope so. I don't. Anyways, all of this to say, I have no plans for that. Of course, we have talked about it with my boyfriend. Having already a kid, it's like the kind of discussion that comes for sure. But he's just starting his professional life. Uh, he's a lawyer and he has started this year. Uh, so it's like not the right moment for him. He's working a lot, like all the time. Oh, and by the way, unpopular opinion. I think when you're with your boyfriend during the weekend or not work hours and he picks up the phone to work, I think it's I love that. I'm like looking at him and I'm like, yum yum. <laughs> I know that's unpopular opinion. A lot of people would be annoyed by that. But every time he does it, I'm like, wow, man who work. That's hot. Anyways, I don't know why I'm saying that. See, I'm always like changing subject. So all this to say, what was the question? Oh, uh, yeah, all of this to say that yes, we have talked about it, um, and it's like if we're still together in a couple of years, which is in a long time. Yes, we would like to probably have one more kid. And something he said that really like warmed my heart was that uh, if we have other kids, he would like to have one so that Wolfie would not feel like she's left out or something because he wants to put them at equality not like three kids from him and then one from like another person he would like it to be like very equal so that I think that was super cute that he thought of that because personally without even having to tell him the thing that scared me is that I didn't want Wolfie to be left out like I always wanted a lot of kids but then I was like oh my gosh I don't think I want other kids because I don't want Wolfie to feel left out, but then if we have only one later, then it would be like equal. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, maybe one day, but just not now because we're not there at all. Maybe in like five years, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we'll see, but we're just not there. The discussion is there, but it's fine. And if I don't have, if like it doesn't work out with him and I don't have other kids, 
I wouldn't mind. I'm really happy with Wolfie. I'm very satisfied. Uh, so I'm not necessarily looking to have more kids, but uh, yeah, that's it. So <laughs> I think that answered the question. I'm gonna finish this video on this note. I'm really hoping to post more on here. Uh, I'll do what I can, to be honest. I work a lot these days. That's also why I have less time to do YouTube, Instagram, uh, I don't have TikTok. I don't do TikTok because I don't have time for that because you know if you're just an influencer Then yeah, you have time to be on every platform, but I have a business to run. Well, I have more than one business to run I have a baby alone with no like half half. It's like I'm really just having a baby alone I don't have time for TikTok. Okay, I I really don't. So stop asking me to go on TikTok. Maybe one day if Wolfie is older, I don't know. But for now, like I have a lot of stuff to do and my weeks are very busy and I'm trying to have some free time to just spend with Wolfie, with my boyfriend and stuff. Actually, at least I'm with someone who's just as busy as I am, so that's fine. But yeah, I'm doing my best, okay? I love you guys and I'll be posting when I'll be posting. And we're just gonna stay on this note. I think that's pretty positive because I'm not being stressed out about like, see you next week and I have to think, what am I gonna do next week? How am I gonna edit this video next week? Anyways, I love you, bye. <laughs>